Hi guys, welcome to Dance Stretch. So today I'm just gonna take you through a nice flowing, kind of dancey feeling stretching workout. For those of you that might be feeling a little sore from some time off from the holidays, or maybe if you just did a really intense workout yesterday, this can help make your body feel just a little better, but keep stretching a little bit more active for you. And Pina is going to supervise for us, I guess. She's already in down dog position, ready to go. So let's just get the blood flowing a little bit here first. So really point through your toes here. This can really be done easily barefoot. So you're not gonna need a lot of space here. Just about the length of a yoga mat is about all we're gonna need. Now from here, we're just gonna plant the feet and just do a little side to side. Easy little bend of the knees, nothing major. It's not a full on lunge. Now we're gonna to start to get the stretching component going in here. And I want you to reach both arms over to the side, pull out and over, out and over. So we're stretching and contracting through that left side of the body, keeping the legs in action so we keep the heart rate just slightly elevated. Good. Open up that side. Beautiful. Give me two more. Now take those arms down and around. Go back to your taps and just let them swing. So just let the arms be loose. Let that movement flow through your shoulders. Good. Now plant your feet, give me that side to side little bend. Good, and as you can see, I got a little turnout in my knees and my toes, but nothing major. Keep it gentle. Our theme for this routine is nice and easy. Let's reach the arms. Take it over, take it out. Good. So expand, contract. Just let it flow. Reach and pull. Very nice, let it go. Open. Give me four more, just like that, and four. Three, last two, then we're gonna go back to those step taps and let the arms swing side to side. Here we go. Just let it go. Good, pointing to the toes. Swing the arms. Now, even though we're really stretching, pay attention to your posture. Keep that spine long. Keep the abs just gently pulled into your back. Good, now from here, let's plant those feet again. We're gonna do just a little tiny squat. Sit back into the hips. Knees are just gently bending straight over the toes. Hips go back so your chest is gonna come slightly front. Good, now we're gonna add some arms to this. Once you reach, open. So think about stretching across the front of your body as you stand up. Open up. Good, we can let the shoulders round slightly forward as you do that little baby squat. Nothing major. Good, four more. Three, two, last one. Now let's hold that little squat. Make it a little deeper if you can. Bring your hands on top of your thighs. Nice and easy. Take a deep breath in, round your tailbone to your chest. Now exhale, arch and look up. Inhale, exhale, arch and bend, up, back, one more here, up, and back, very nice. Let's roll all the way up to standing. Bring your arms overhead like a little ballerina, make it a little circle. Now we're gonna open the chest to the side, the arms press, and up. I gotta move forward a little bit, I'm running out of space behind me. Told you you need a small space. Exhale, push down. Inhale, lift. Now my hips are staying square to the front, so we're kicking those abs in on that rotation, but we're also stretching as we twist. Good, let's do four more here. Exhale and inhale. See if you can go a little further into the twist. Each repetition you do. Good, one more here. Twist. Nice job. Now just let those arms swing. Front and back. Coming back to our nice gentle tap. Open it up. Let it go. Good. 
that's it. Very nice. Now, let's go ahead and take this little lunge with the right leg only. We're gonna turn the knee and toe out more. So right here, we're getting just a gentle little stretch in the left inner thigh, but keeping the muscles active on that right leg. That's it, good. Just give me four more here, just with that lower body. Last two. Now let's hold that lunge. Really go as deeply as you comfortably can. Take that right elbow on top of your thigh. See if you can stretch the left arm up. Now your eyes can focus either at the ceiling, at me, or even down to the floor. Think of rolling that top shoulder open. Take your gaze where you need it to be. Just hold here. Breathe and stretch. Good. Now go ahead and lower the arm. Turn, pivoting your back heel and hip. Bring your hands to the thigh. Sink down. So really drop through that back hip. Lift your chest. Nice. Now if you're able to, see if you can walk your hands to the floor. Now if you happen to be close to a piece of furniture, you could also hold on to it for a little bit of balance without having to go so deep. Now we're just gonna extend the front leg as straight as we can and bend it back. Extend it, pull it up through the top of the thigh, bend it back, lift, extend, that's it. So you don't have to get the leg all the way straight, just stretch it as best you can and then bend it back. So again, keeping your hands higher on something elevated like the edge of your couch or an ottoman can make this a little bit less intense. Do what you need to do. Two more. Last one. Hold it and stretch. So I brought my back foot in a little closer. I'm gonna drop that back heel down. Good, if your hands are on the floor, walk it up on top of your thigh, not on top of your knee. Flatten out your back, hold, abs are in tight. Round up for me, turn it back to the center. Let's just go back to that side lunge on the other leg. How you feeling? Starting to open up that lower body a little bit. Good, so we just have this nice combination of contraction of the muscle and then stretching of the muscle. So we pump the blood flu, we help flush out some of that lactic acid, and then we can stretch it all out. Good, give me two more. Just kidding, four more here. Four, don't you love when we do that to you? Two more, at least we're not doing burpees or something. Take it down, now let's hold it. So now we're gonna sink as low as we can. Take that left elbow to your thigh, reach up, expand through your side, focusing up, center, or down. Now use that back leg here too to help anchor and balance your body. Drop that bottom heel down, all the way down to the floor. Breathe and stretch. Beautiful, knees lined up over your ankle, right? Good, now let's turn the leg. Hello, you gonna help me stretch? Drop your hip, hands to the thigh. Peanut wants in on the stretch here. Open your chest, extend the back leg. Good. Now from here, remember your options. Your hands can go to the floor or something in front of you. Jump the back foot in a little bit more if you need to. Extend the front leg and bend. You can't lick me the whole time, do it. <laughs> Reach back. I know those of you with pets at home know what this is like, right? Maybe your pup or kitty is doing the same thing. Good, extend up. So remember, as that leg straightens, I want you to think about pulling up through the quadriceps muscle, right on the top of your thigh. So we don't lock out the knee. You engage as you stretch. Good, let's do one more. Now, we're just taking this on and we're gonna hold it. Extend, I'm gonna jump my back foot in a little more so I can get my heel all the way to the floor. Pull up through the tops of those thighs. Press down through your feet, walk your hand on top of that thigh. Flatten out your back. Good, now let's roll up. 
Nice job. Let's go back to that step tap. I'm starting to sweat. How about you? Yeah. It's gentle, but it still gets our heart rate up, right? So let's take those swings here. Just letting it go. Good. Now we're gonna plant the feet and we're just gonna circle through the right shoulder. It looks like this. Just open it up. Good. So just start to get your whole body into that arm swing. You can reuse the legs, you can use your side here. Now, just reverse the direction of your circle. Still nice and big. Loosen it up. Good. Perfect. Four, three, two, let's switch sides. So it doesn't matter which way you start. We'll reverse it together. Good, now I'm feeling this in my side too because I'm really opening up at the top of that circle. Reverse direction, out and around. Good, relax your neck, relax your shoulders. Just really let that arm go. Let it flow. Great job, now relax it here. Take the arms back behind you. Inhale, stretch the chest. Exhale, round and slap. Open up. So I'm turning to the side so you can see it. I'm gonna open your chest and round. Inhale and exhale. Inhale and exhale. Two more just like that and reach. And round, last time, here we go. Great job. Now, go ahead from here. Take your right arm across and down, across and down. So I feel my chest contract as I control that arm across the midline of my body. I'm gonna use my abs here too to kind of catch the arm as it comes over. You notice my legs are moving with the arm. Just a little bend and extend. Of course, if the legs need a breather, you can just do this with the legs completely straight. Give me four more, pull it across. Three, two. Now we're gonna catch the arm and give it a hug. Pull it into your chest, drop your shoulder down. Good, now we're gonna use the abs. We're gonna turn over the shoulder like this. Twist, come back. So you're giving it a little bit of a hug, but I'm also rotating my right hip into that little rotation and twist through the upper body. So use the pelvis, point your right toe, lift. Lift, good. Squeeze and twist. Four more, so we're working the core as we stretch. Two more. Now let's hold it across, just hold it. Stretch the body further into that rotation. Lengthen from the back toe to your hand. Rotate back to the center. Take a nice deep breath, kind of shake it out. Let's take the other arm across. So we squeeze and down, squeeze and down. So at the top, my chest contracts, my abs get tighter. That's it. So pull it across the midline of your body. So on this one, the hips are staying steady. This is not where we want to twist yet. So I want you to feel the chest kick in. So the hips are square. Give me four more, then we're gonna catch it. Two more. Nice, now catch and hold it. Take it across and twist. Lift and back, lift and back. Turn through the hip, pull that arm across your body, squeeze. Rotate and back, good. Turn the pelvis with that upper body. Nice, that's it. And I'm also thinking about lengthening through the crown of my head as I rotate up. So get taller on that twist. Pull it across, pull it across, two more. Good, take this one and hold it. Stretch and lengthen. Go even further, look all the way back behind your body. Check out what's back there. Checking out my backyard here. 
Good, come back to the center. Shake it out. Just give me a shoulder roll up and back. How are we feeling? Things getting a little looser yet? I hope so. Boy, it's amazing when you just take even a couple days or a week off, you really feel it, right? Reverse it back to front. And maybe some of you have just started an exercise program, which is fantastic, but sometimes it can be a little intense on your body. So hopefully this is just making things feel a little bit better, a little looser. Let's plant the feet, let's stretch your upper back, clasp your hands together, turn your palms out, round. Now inhale, stretch up, exhale, round it forward. Inhale, stretch, watch it from the side. I'm gonna tuck my tailbone, I'm gonna lift up. Exhale, and inhale. Exhale, and inhale, that's it. Round, use your abs, inhale, lift up. Stretch, stretch, two more, and lift one more time, now we're going to make a little circle, really plant your feet, bend your knees, we're going to stretch out and over, come down to the floor, out to the other side, come center, reverse it, out and over, down to the floor, up and around, one more time, to both sides. Out and over, drop it down, come up, last one, out and over, drop it down, come up and around, beautiful. Now from here, let's take the hands to those hips, just start to shift your weight again, pointing through those toes. So we're also stretching the muscles in our feet, our ankles, even through those tiptoes with this little side to side tap. Good, now you're gonna soften your knees, give me a flat back forward like this. Hinge it down, come up, good. Inhale, and exhale. So we're gonna get a little stretch down the back of the legs and the hamstrings, and then they're gonna contract as we lift up. Now really key here is that your spine stays naturally straight as you're coming forward and back. So I like to picture that there's a broom vertically lined up with my spine and I'm trying to balance it there as I hinge forward and as I come up. Even though I guess in reality it would slide down as we came up. Just use your imagination. It's Velcroed to your back. Keep it long. Two more, nice and easy. Down and up, one more. Good, now let's take that flat back forward and hold it. Just give me a little deeper bend in the knees. See if you can pulse it. Good. So we're gonna do a little swimming exercise that's gonna work the core, but also stretch the side. I'm gonna turn to the side so you can see it better. You're gonna keep pulsing. So imagine you're diving into a pool right now. Reach both arms forward. We're gonna circle back and front. Stretch. Think back, up, and around. Back, up, and around. So many of you know this move probably if you've done cardio abs. We do this even more intensely on our knees. It's more challenging. But today we're gonna do it for a stretch, for the core, and for the back. Not so much cardio at this tempo, although the heart rate is up. Good. Nice and steady. Now notice my arms aren't dropping. I wanna keep them about in line with my chest or my shoulders. And I wanna really circle back. Now, let's take both arms, same tempo, back and around, back and around. Opening through the shoulders. Just keep your eyes focused on the floor. Don't stress your neck by looking at me, nothing to see. Now, can you start back first and around? Back and around. I know it took me a second to get into it too. So we're opening back first, spanning the chest. I guess this would be like our butterfly stroke. Good. Let's kick out for four more. 
three, two, and one. Hands on those thighs. Tuck your tailbone round. Inhale, exhale. So we want to stretch out the back. Two more. Round, arch one more time. Tuck it under. Release, let's roll all the way up. Shoulders back and down. Step tap. Breathe. Let it go. Good. You're doing great. Stay with me here. We're going to change things up a little bit. We're going to start to head down to the floor. Now, again, a couple things I want you to keep in mind. You don't have to go flat down to the ground. If you have the edge of your couch nearby or a little ottoman, make things easier like we did for that leg stretch by putting your hands on top of it. So I'll cue you in those certain points where you might want to do that. But for now, let's just do a little walk. Excuse me, Peanut. And we're gonna face the mat if you're working with your mat. Just keep walking here. Take your feet about hip width apart. And I want you to give me just a little lift through one heel and then the other. Just bend the knee and lift. Now we're gonna push off through the feet. Let me stand in front of her since she's not moving. So you can see my legs. So I'm gonna push off, think, toe ball heel, toe ball heel, lift. Good, now take it a little quicker. We're gonna lift, lift. My knees are soft so this is easier to do quicker. Push, push. Good. Give me eight more. Seven, six, strengthen the arches of the feet, and four, and three, and two, and one. Now we're gonna do the opposite. We're gonna lift the toes. So keeping the knees soft, I want you to lift your feet, the front part of your feet, as high as you can off of the floor, engaging through the shins. Good, now this is a funny looking exercise that we're about to do. We're gonna do some heel walking. So it looks awkward on me, it'll look awkward on you. It's, don't worry about how it looks. We're gonna try, just like it sounds, to walk on our heels. We're just gonna take a few steps forward and a few steps back. So I want you to lift your toes, walk, come back. Walk forward, come back down. Now, if you're not used to this, it can be kind of challenging. So if you need to hold on to the wall, you can walk forward and walk back. Now, if the shins start to get super tired and they start to burn, you need a little rest, you can stop sooner. But try to keep your posture up. Don't let this start to happen, yeah? Walking front and back. Arms can do whatever feels natural. Just keep that tall posture. I'm just gonna do a couple more. I'm starting to feel my shins too. Good. Give me one more set front and back. Perfect. Let your toes come down. Kind of shake out, circle out your ankles. You feel those muscles? Good. We're going to keep strengthening those. Now from here, let's start to open up the hip with a little circle. Circle. So I'm going to cross the midline of my body as I lift that knee, kicking in the abs. Opening up the hips, using the inner and outer thighs. Just circle and step, circle and step. Good. That's it. Open it out. Try to make that as big as you can. We're going to keep this at the slower pace so we can really make it big. Up and up. Good. Two more. Last set. Good, great job. Now take your feet wide. We're gonna drop the hips and we're gonna gently open up the inner thighs. Now, this may be too low for some of you. So you can be staying right here and taking an inner thigh stretch. The goal is to try and drop our hips as low as we can, keeping the heels on the floor. I call this like a frog squat. You can use your elbows if you're down there to help open up your inner thighs. Lift your chest, take a breath. So if you're up here, same thing. Lift your chest, breathe. 
feet need to be nice and wide, keeping the heels down. Stretch and relax. Good, you're doing great. Now from here, shift your weight forward, extend the legs, turn your knees and toes front, hold your stretch. Hands on the thighs, soften your knees, roll up to standing. So we're here, let's walk and turn to the side. Feet hip width apart, take a deep breath in, give me a flat back forward, bend your knees. And I want you to keep bending your knees until you can reach the floor. Now this is where we were talking about that modification. You can put your hands on the edge of a piece of furniture if you can't quite get all the way down to the floor. And I want you to walk out until you're in that down dog position. Right, Peanut? Stretching back. Now you need to get out of the way because I'm gonna drop my hips forward. So I'm gonna come down with my hips, arching through the back. Take a deep breath in. Now notice I'm not touching the floor. Contract, use your abs, lift up to plank. Now push back, bend in the knees, stretch wide. Now let's go back through that again. Go to plank position, abs in tight, lower the hips, open your chest, arch through that low back. Come back up to plank, contract through the abs. Good, back to down dog. So again, keeping the hands on a higher level on that piece of furniture can make this movement much easier to do. Back to plank, arch, open up the chest, contract, bend back, open the chest, spread your fingers nice and wide, push against the floor, let's do two more, forward and plank, contract, arch, use the stomach to lift those hips, push back, we have one more, press back to plank, tighten up through that stomach, Arch it down. Now go ahead and bring your hips all the way to the floor, pointing through your toes, arching through the back. Good, now let's push the hips back to the heels. Just sit back and stretch. Peanut, you need to stop licking my sweat. I'm good. <laughs> sit back and stretch. So as you can see, these are live sessions from home. This is really what happens when I work out at home. All right, from here, let's start to open up through the hips. So I'm gonna face you. I want you to just take one leg in front, one leg behind. Think about squaring up your hips. So this is kind of like the front part of your pigeon pose. And we're gonna press forward, walking the hands out. Just letting the body weight that front hip so you're stretching it out here. We're stretching, we're stretching. Come on, stretch with us. Good, now go ahead and walk it up. Take that back leg and we're gonna cross it over. Pull the knee into your chest. Sit up tall and look back over your shoulder. I guess I'm destined to get a bath today from you. Keep lifting tall through the crown of your head. Good, now let's keep opening up this hip now. We're gonna keep the knees stacked on top of each other as best we can. You can keep the foot there for a little less intensity. You can really cross and point your toe for more and fold forward again. Good. I'm really feeling my hips today. Just go as far into the stretch as you can. Come on up, and we're gonna keep this leg in front. We're gonna take the bottom leg to the back. Shifting the weight forward, squaring up the pelvis, walking it down. I need a little space, thank you. I wanted to bring her to our last video shoot, but I knew this is what would happen if we did. So she had to stay home, didn't you? And let's walk it up. Take the back leg, cross it over, hug that knee, sit up tall. Good. 
Good, now let's take it to the center. We're gonna stack the knees as best we can, and we're gonna walk forward. Stretch that hip, try to keep the knees stacked on top of each other. Good, and from here, let's go ahead and bring the legs in front of the body, bending the knees, squeezing your inner thighs, lying back onto the back. Oh boy, here we go. Let's see if I can survive this with peanut around. So we're gonna stretch through the tricep. So I want you to bring one elbow behind your head and lift it up. Now you can't lick my armpit. <laughs> bring it up. We're gonna stretch, hugging that elbow in. Rest your head against your arm. And we're gonna do a little crunch and curl. Come up as you stretch, down. Up and down. Good, one more up, straight. Now aim it to the opposite corner. So this helps me go a little deeper into the stretch, but now I'm working those obliques. Pelvis is square and steady. Relax your head into your arm. Two more. One more. Good, relax, switch arms, pull the other elbow in, relax your head. So we're gonna start with four straight up. Crunches, pull the elbow in, up and down. So this really should help relax your neck. You're just kind of cradling your head with your arm. Think of exhaling as you lift. Good, now let's aim across the body. Come over and back. Over and back. Peanut, my darling. Please stop. Yeah, we're working out here. Four more. Three more. Last two. One more time. Good, relax down, hug your knees in. <laughs> I hope those of you that don't have pets don't find this annoying. Those of you that do, I know you sympathize. Hug your knees into your chest. And from here, let's bring the bottoms of the feet together and hug them in. She's just gonna keep going, we'll just have to ignore her. <laughs> so we're getting through the inner thighs and your low back. Now I want you to try and keep the heels together, flex your feet, we're gonna make a little diamond shape with the legs. Take your hands outside of your hips, turn your palms down, lift your head, neck and shoulders if you can. We're gonna squeeze through the inner thighs, extend the legs out for two, come in, nice and slow. So a little Pilates frog press. If your abs are sore, you can modify this by bringing your head and shoulders down. You can take your legs higher to the ceiling. Good, let's take two more slow. Pull those abs in tight, one more. Let's do eight nice and quick. Squeeze the backs of your knees together as they extend. Six, five, four, three, Two, last one. Now take it out there and hold it. Squeeze, squeeze. Take it down just a few inches. Come up. Oh boy, we're feeling those abs. Squeeze this, I'm gonna stretch you out after this. Take it a little higher if you feel your back starting to arch. Four more. Two more. Bring your knees all the way into your chest, relax and stretch. Ah, oh, good job. Now let's take the feet, hip width apart on the floor. We're gonna lift the hips up. And I want you to stay as high as you can now. And you can take your hands underneath your hips for support here, or clasp them together and press them down into the ground. You have got to go. Push down. Lift, lift, lift. So stretch that low back. <laughs> Your arms stay where they need to stay. I need to use them for peanut repellent right now. Squeeze and lift. Now make sure your knees haven't started to buckle open. Keep them pointing over your toes. 
Lift that back. Now slowly roll through your back, articulating it into the floor one vertebrae at a time, lengthen it out. Bring your feet together, good. Let's extend one leg up straight as we can. Now we're gonna drop the bottom knee out to the side. Just let it relax. Take this top leg out with your same hand. Let's open the inner thighs. Now notice my hips are square on the floor. Don't start to rock your body. Keep the hips down, the knees open. Peanut. Bend both knees in towards each other. Hug that knee in and let's switch. Just stretch the other leg up first, as straight as you can. Hips are down, tailbone is down. Open up that bottom knee. Take that same hand and open up that other leg out to the side. Just drop the knees away from each other. Stretch those inner thighs. Good, bend both knees in towards each other. Hug both knees into your chest. Slowly rock yourself up to seated. Cross those legs and let's just stretch through that side one more time, opening up. So I hope you feel a little bit better. I did give you a couple of challenges in there, but I'm sure you did great with them. Got the heart rate up, got a little sweat going, but hopefully the body feels a little bit better than when we started. Take one arm across your opposite knee. One more rotational twist through that back. She's staring at something. And switch sides. Come back to the center. Let's bring the feet together. Bring your hands right in front of your feet into a little low crouch position. Drop the heels, lift those hips nice and slow. Roll up to standing. Take a nice deep breath in. Exhale, breathe it out. One more time, filling up your body with oxygen and energy for the rest of your day today. Push it out. Peanut and I thank you for joining us today and we look forward to working out with you again. Take care guys.